Hello, uh, welcome uh, everyone uh, to my Let's uh, Play uh, of Pokemon White, uh, courtesy of the uh, Lady uh, Tanuki. This is part uh, 69, uh, and I don't uh, know uh, why uh, I am speaking uh, with a uh, lame uh, Italian uh, accent. Uh, okay, I'll stop. I just thought that was kind of fun. Maybe it was kind of lame, but kind of fun anyway. But anyway, at the end of part 68, we defeated the Elite Four. Oh my gosh, we are near the end of this game. We defeated the Elite Four, and now the statue is glowing, so that means that we are all set to face the chap- that means we are all set to battle the champion. Oh wow, earlier today I was really depressed, I was really worried because I'm applying to graduate school again this year because I didn't get accepted at any of the programs I had applied to last year, and I'm having a really hard time getting these letters of recommendation from my- from my teachers and such that I had- from the school that I previously attended, so I'm really worried about that, so maybe- So I figured that recording more of this Let's Play will cheer me up, especially given that we are on the champion! We're gonna be battling Alder, the crazy guy with the orange hair who looks straight out of Dragon Ball Z, and... Yeah, my Pokémon are not even fully healed, but I think we're gonna get another healing spot before... Before we get to battle the champion, and... And I also mentioned before, we're also going to get to change out our party, which is kind of interesting, so let's go talk to the statue. This is it. I'm almost scared because I know something awesome- I know something awesome's gonna happen next. Let's do this. Let's battle the champion. What? Wait, the statue is going down? Why is the statue going underground? Okay, I guess there's a platform up there that indicates where the Pokemon League champion is. I think that looks like a place where Alder might hang out, eh? Yeah, let's, uh, check it out. Uh, we are all of a sudden in this weird big space. I don't remember seeing this, although it has been a while since my last playthrough of Pokemon White, so I guess maybe I just don't remember this room for some strangers and- Oh yes, that's right, these are stairs. I keep forgetting, these are stairs. They didn't look like stairs, but I guess they are stairs. Ah, well gee, when we- before we battled Chantal, we- Got to- we got- we had a bunch of will o -wisps conveniently carry us up the stairs, but now we have to walk these stairs ourselves. Oh my gosh, I'm tired already. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that was- that was tiring. I think my legs are all cramped right now, and oh my gosh, we have another set of stairs? Okay, let's see if I can handle that other set of stairs. Ugh! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, these stairs are steep! Oh my gosh, these stairs are steep! Ow, 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 my legs hurt, my legs hurt! Oh my gosh, a third set of steps? You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be freaking kidding me! Ah! Looks like this Elite Four challenge is testing both our body and our Pokemon training abilities. Ah, my legs are killing me right now. Can I can I ascend another flight of stairs? This one looks even bigger than the last. Okay, fortunately I see the end. I see the end. I see the end, and that'll give me the strength to keep on going. Yes, there is the building right there that houses the Pokemon League champion. Ah, after I rest a little while, then we can be prepared to battle Alder. Okay, maybe. Yes. Yeah, this looks like a place where Alder might hang out. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty- this is a relatively pretty place. It kind of almost reminds me of the Relic Castle. Maybe it's where the Relic Castle once was before it got buried in the sand or something. I don't know, that's kind of what it looks like. And there's Alder and N. Oh yeah, that's right, because Alder was supposed to be having a battle with N, right? That's what- what- that's what Alder said, he was going to challenge N, because I think L N was, like, challenging the champion or something. It's over! What's over, N? The battle is over? And let me guess, you lost to Alder, right? Because Alder is awesome. Never again will Pokemon be made to suffer or be held captive by humans. It's all thanks to my friend, Reshiram. Wait a minute, he's implying as if he, like, won that battle or something. That cannot possibly be right, could it? I mean, just because he has a, just because he has a legendary Pokemon in his party does not mean that he's gonna win the battle against Alder, right? You may have the title of champion, but you can't stop me with just a title. Your soft heart has left you weak. Years ago, you lost your Pokemon, your partner, to sickness. In order to forget the pain in your heart, you wandered Unova. Who knows how long it's been since you've had to fight since you've had to fight with your full strength. I actually kinda like that about you though. Uh wait a minute, so N actually won against Alder? I did not expect that. I mean Yeah, I guess Alder did, did kind of explain that as a last minute scenario that that if that if N de happens to defeat him in a Pokemon battle, then I would be the one to face it. Oh my gosh, if I could have had to battle N instead of Alder? This is like what? As a traitor who far out matches the champion, I shall issue an order across Unova. Traitors of the world, free your Pokemon! Oh yeah, that's right, because he's in Team Plasma and all, right? <laughs> oh no, don't do that! I beg you! I made Alder sound like Mickey Mouse. Separating people from Pokemon, do anything but that, please! You and I both put our beliefs on the line and fought with all our strength. And I won. Do not say another word. 
Oh, uh, there's my challenger. I have been waiting. Oh, but, 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 but I'm not prepared for a battle. My Pokemon aren't fully healed. I mean, everybody's almost at full HP, but I know some people, I know some of my Pokemon don't have much PP, like Rapier doesn't have a lot of PP for Aerial Ace. I've been waiting. In the future I envisioned, you have obtained a stone, and indeed you have. That Dark Stone, Reshiram is responding to it. Wait, it's a Dark Stone. Isn't Zekrom supposed to be responding to it? Unless it's the same thing with the red and blue orbs, where that, or that, where Kyogre responded to the red orb and Groudon responded to the blue orb. Is this like that? Stop. This is not a suitable place for the legendary dragons. From the ground, rise up the castle of Team Plasma. A castle? Surround the Pokemon League. And this scene is epic right here. And it's mostly on the bottom screen. I gotta show the bottom screen really quick, just just to show you how awesome this is. Look at this. Look at this. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my gosh! And now most of the action's in the top screen. I hate it when I can't show both screens at the same time. Oh my gosh! Look at this! Look at this! There's a castle to ready the Pokemon League! And was right! Oh my gosh! That, that doesn't even look like a castle. That looks like a row of old apartment buildings, doesn't it? That is kind of what it looks like, and my part of my bottom screen is showing, but I'm not I'm the least bit worried about that right now. Oh my gosh, look what's going on! Look what's going on! Okay, the top part kind of looks like a fancy hotel back there or something, and oh my gosh, there's lightning! And there are storms, and what? And there are stairways coming down out of the building! Yikes! This is insane! This is insane! This is really insane! And so let me show you. Oh my gosh, look at all those steps! Look at all those stairways! This is really insane! And let me show the top screen again. Ah, what has just appeared is Team Plasma's castle. The king's words will resound from the heights to all below. You must come to the castle as well. Everything will be decided there. Whether Pokemon will be liberated from people, or whether Pokemon and people will live together, we will see whose belief is stronger, and our results will change the world. Okay, so I guess this castle that Ed is talking about is going to be the site of the battle with Ed. Mr. Alder, you're a wreck. It's not fitting for the champion. Well, what do you think, Sharon? Alder just lost to Ed. You did well to get this far. Oh, yeah, so I guess... So I think... One of the Elite Four members, I don't know if it was Chantal or Grimsley, I think it was Grimsley actually, who mentioned a challenger being here before us, and I suspected it was Charon, and I guess I was right, so apparently Charon just, just beat the Elite Four after us. You did well to get this far. Somehow I beat the Pokemon League, but it wasn't easy. Uh, I uh, have to congratulate you, but unfortunately I will not be battling you now because I'm not really the champion. I just got beat for, by this stupid kid in a, with green hair and a legendary Pokemon for some reason. I became stronger because I understood what I want to do. Minerva, tell Ed this. Some people grow stronger by being with Pokemon. My Pokemon and I are proof. Together, we learned and became stronger. Didn't N have to do the same thing? I mean, how did N become so strong that he could be defeat Alder? Unless he cheated just because he's part of an evil organization and all. I lost. Because I totally felt cheated at all. I should have been able to demonstrate the bond between me and my Pokemon. That would have shown that brat the worthlessness of his outrageous dreams. So his convictions were the real thing. Be careful. The ones who change the world are always the ones who pursued their dreams. Minerva, I ask this of you. Even if Pokemon and people are separated, nothing good will come of it. Please let him know that. Yeah, I guess that's good. I mean, it is one thing to have a dream, but, is a, but it is a completely different thing for the dream to be fruitless. And there's a warp tile up there, but I can't even get to it. That is, that is really weird. I guess that would have been the warp tile to bring me back home, but I can't even go back home. But yes, this this castle that Ed is talking about, this is the reason why I said that I could change my party up, because I believe, if I remember correctly, there will be a PC somewhere in here, and yes, it is winter, because I'm recording on the 1st of December, so the seasons changed when, during the break between last part and this part, we left off in autumn, and now it's winter, because it's December, and December always has to be winter, that just makes sense, right? But anyway, here's the castle. Listen to this music. This is awesome music. This is really awesome music. I, I featured this music in my top 20 Pokemon music list. This is the Ends Castle theme. It is a really awesome theme. Ah, 
and here we are facing the... Not the Seven Sages, six of the Seven Sages. I imagine the last one is Getsis or something. But I just want to say, those who accord with fate are, per are preserved. I almost thought that said persevered for some reason. And those who rebel against fate perish. When the way is forgotten, duty and justice appear. One can lose the forest for the trees. What? That doesn't make sense because the forest is made of trees, right? If you make a mistake and do not correct it, that is a second mistake. That is true. Superior men understand what is right. Inferior men understand what, it, what will sell. Yeah, that's true. In, in other words, capitalism is inferior, right? <laughs> I mean, you make a good point, whatever sage you are on the right. That sage on the far right, you make a very good point. There are not two suns in the sky, but nor two sovereigns over the people. Um... Does that imply that there's only one sovereign over the people, but all shall obey God and nothing else? That kind of sounds like one of the commandments of Christianity, and that's something I do not believe in, but I guess that's for another discussion, right? Well, if anything should happen to our king, it would be disastrous. Our king, do you mean N? It would ruin Getsis' perfect plan. Our lord N will be disappointed, but the six of us shall defeat you here. Uh, what? Oh my gosh, do I have to- do I have to battle these sages? What? I was not prepared for this! Um, 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 can you manage that? What? I am just as confused as that sage is- Hey, it's Clay! Oh my gosh, it's Clay! Alright, Clay! Oh my gosh, I totally did not expect Clay to appear here and he get this awesome music playing! Still standing, are ya, Minerva? Uh, what? What? Your, 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 your drift fails up, 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 up. Her, ain't just me. <gasps> Hey, it's Lenora and Berg! Oh my gosh, why isn't Berg standing next to me? I want Berg to stand next to me! Hey! Hey, Berg, do you remember me? I'm sorry I cheated on you with Grimsley. I'm really sorry. Uh, I shouldn't even be telling you that, right? Can you forgive me, Berg? Can you forgive me? So sorry, Lenora is saying. Lenora, Lenora, you're blocking my view of Berg. Not only are we stronger than you, but there are a lot of us. Ah, uh, there's uh, gym leaders. Ignoring Team Plasma, that would be a terrible thing for us gym leaders to do. Yeah, Bianca asked us to come too. Yay, it's so glad to be hearing Berg's voice again. I'm so happy. Thank you for coming, Berg. Thank you, thank you. And Bryson doesn't care. And Skyla is just pretending to be fine because she is a total airhead, right? That is why she uses flying type Pokemon. And Iris is saying that she has no need to worry and... And Drayden is talking about the Darkstone that he knows so little about, as we discovered when we went to Opelucid City. But this is awesome! We have all these gym leaders! <gasps> now I get to talk to Berg! I'll talk to Berg! Your Pokémon, they are doing the best for you, right? Why would you want to be separated from them like that? Uh, Berg, I'm, I'm like standing right behind you. Um, hey, you remember me? Okay, never mind. Enough, enough screwing around and I'll... This is kind of awesome how we have all these gym leaders gathering here like this and... It's interesting how all these all these gym leaders are kind of arranged into couples and all, and I hope that doesn't imply that Berg prefers Lenora over me, but anyway. Um, I don't really even know what to say after that. I'm just speechless because, because I get to see Berg again. But oh my gosh, this is a pretty castle, and this is pretty music and all. I can't even hum that part, but I just love organ music. The, the, the organ that's playing in this theme is like one of my favorite musical instruments ever. So it is that is probably one of the reasons why I really like this theme. And do we get to go anywhere else except up those stairs? I guess not. I guess our only choice is to go up those stairs over there. So I guess I will go up those stairs. And I'm not going to bother talking to any of the gym leaders because I don't think they're going to say anything important. Huh. I really only wanted to talk to Berg. That was what's important to me. But anyway, we have a bunch of rooms in this castle. And what is that? What? Come. Is that the Shadow Triad? Yeah, I suspected it was the Shadow Triad. Although it's only one of the Shadow Triad. That's weird. In this castle, you may rest your Pokemon and access your PC. See? What did I tell you? You get a chance to heal your Pokemon and change out your party. Fear not. First, have your Pokemon rest in that room. When they are healed, it is our Lord Anne's wish that you be moved to the innermost part of this castle. But first, let's wander around the castle some more. I see another room up to the left. What is this room to the left here? Uh, we'll see. We have some Team Plasma grunts. Let's see what they say. Our Lord Anne proved that he is stronger than the champion. Now many trainers will admire our Lord Anne and follow his orders. In other words, they will do whatever Team Plasma says. Because they are stupid and the gym leaders know a lot better, right? Ha! Ah. 
<laughs> we team plasma, blah, 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 blah. I don't even care what you were saying. Can we go inside the fireplace? No, I guess I'm too big. I'm not a little kid anymore. They make the main characters of this game like older than the than most of the other characters, right? Let's see. Oh, I don't know what is in these rooms. There's another room up here. Mm. But I don't know. Let's go into this room and heal our Pokemon first because I just feel like doing that. What's here? What are these two lovely ladies doing here? Hi, I'm Anthea! Trainer, before you go to confront my Lord Anne, please take a moment to rest. Well, thank you. <laughs> ah, good. Both you and your Pokemon regain energy. Trainers battle to practice their skills and to grow in experience, but never to hurt their Pokemon. My Lord Anne has realized this deep down in his heart, but he has spent too much painful time here in this castle to admit it. Wait, can you repeat what you said again? Can you repeat what you said if you can? Because, because Anthea said something really important about N. Trainers battle to practice their skills and to grow in experience, but never to hurt their Pokemon. Then why is... Then why in the world is Team Plasma trying to liberate Pokemon from their trainers if N himself believed that? That, is, that just sounds suspicious to me, doesn't it? I am Concordia. I give peace and comfort to N. N has been separated from people since he was young. He was brought up with Pokemon. Okay, so that's why he's crazy. I see. Pokemon that were betrayed, mistreated, and hurt by bad people. Gets us deliberately brought only those poor Pokemon closer to N. Hmm. Hmm. N was touched by their plight and started pursuing the truth, thinking only of Pokemon. N's heart is pure and innocent. But there is nothing more beautiful and terrifying than innocence. Well, innocence, otherwise known as immaturity, right? In the game, there's another fireplace we can't go through. So that's interesting. Anthea and whatever that other girl's name was, uh, Concordia, they're, they're actually saying some pretty important in, some pretty important stuff about N. That's one thing I really like about the champion of this region, is that he has a really interesting plot behind him. So apparently N was raised alongside these Pokemon that were abandoned and mistreated by humans, and apparently Getsus contributed significantly to that. Okay, and this and this plasma grunt is saying that the castle took several years to build, and they built it in secret and all because it was underground, and in underground everything is secret, right? Everything is going perfectly as Getsus of the Seven Sages calculated and planned. He's been thinking about how he can manipulate people's hearts as he wishes. Manipulate people's hearts as he wishes. Doesn't it? Doesn't that sound fishy? And hey, we found a max potion in the castle. That I didn't expect. Maybe I should be putting my dowsing mitchin on. <laughs> just for good measure, just in case we find any hidden stuff inside this castle. Because one thing I know about castles is that they're full of treasure, right? Anyway, let's go on to the second floor because I know there's more stuff to see. Let's see what's in this room, shall we? Ah, and there are computers and all, and here's a PC. Well, it's good that we have a PC because this is a PC that I can use to, to change my Pokemon party, I believe, right? Yeah, I could totally change my Pokemon here, but I'll do that later. I want to explore some of these other rooms in the castle first. Ah, our young wanderer, are you surprised? This castle is the hub of Team Plasmas. No, gets us at the Seven Sages' scientific capability. A manifestation of knowledge. You're implying that Getsus is, like, really a, is a much more important in, in Team Plasma than we made him out to be. Ha <laughs> ha! Now we can even infiltrate the Pokemon storage system inside every trainer's PC. <gasps> Say what?! Say what?! If our king wills it, we can steal every Pokemon stored in a PC box and release them all! Uh, 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 well, if that's true, then I gotta, re then I gotta withdraw my, my Pokemon team right now! I, uh, yeah, I could not take that chance! And in fact, I'm gonna pause the video now while I change my team, and I'm gonna record just like, like, just a, like one more minute. Actually, I'm gonna do that later, because I don't think that's gonna matter anymore, so, uh, yeah. I'll just come back into that room later. Let's see, because I think this other room is going to be important, if I remember correctly. No, it's just one room with a Team Plasma Grunt and an item, and yeah, and it's a Max Revive. Good, we can use more Max Revives. And what does that Team Plasma Grunt have to say? As part of his plan to take Pokemon away from their people, my Lord N entrusted some Pokemon to me. I've been spending time with them, and I don't think I want to let them go. I may not be cut out for Team Plasma. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, so those ladies in that one room in Team Plasma were saying that that N does not really want to liberate Pokemon from people. That is really surprising, actually. We learned a lot of stuff about N today just by exploring this castle. That is just really surprising. And, and moreover, those scientists that are in this room are implying that Getsus might actually be more of an influence in Team Plasma than I've given him, than I've given him credit for. Ah, 
This is kind of interesting. It may, it may be that that although N is literally the king of Team Plasma, then I don't know if he's behind everything. I don't know. I don't really know. This is seeming more and more suspicious. We're gonna have to investigate this further. But unfortunately, we are out of time, so we were gonna we're gonna have to save that until the next video. I know today wasn't very eventful, but at least we discovered some important stop plot, plot stuff, and we got to meet Berg again, which is really nice. So, in the next part, we will explore more of Anne's castle, and I'll change my team out before they get infiltrated by Team Plasma, and I'll see you later in part 70 of Let's Play Pokemon White.